Hey guys, today I'm doing a disassembly video on an Acer N20C6, also known as an Acer A517 or Acer Aspire 5. And the first thing we're going to do here is going to remove the bottom panel. There's about 10 screws that hold this panel down, so just remove all of those screws. And you can use this video to replace your battery, hard drive. Um, this Acer Aspire has an option for the NVMe SSD or a regular two and a half inch. And you could also use this to replace your fan, motherboard, anything that you want to do internally inside the laptop. And what I'm gonna do next here is I'm gonna to try to pry up this bottom cover. Um, typically I take a guitar pick, a small thin pick, and run it along the edge of that bottom cover like I'm doing here. And I just try to get a little section of it pried up and then I can take my other hand and try to you know, apply some pressure while I'm lifting up on it. But you want to do this very gently. Um, you can break the clips or something, but just carefully go underneath it with the guitar pick. And sometimes this is easier said than done. They can be kind of tricky. Get to play with it and try to get that pick under there in the right spot. See, I tried along the edges there and it wasn't going. So now I'm trying the top. And that's why I like to use that thin guitar pick versus a thicker pry tool. It's just a little bit better for getting in between that edge of the bottom cover. So there we go. I finally got a little section of it up. So I'm going to use that other hand to kind of hold on to it. And there I think I switched to just a brand new guitar pick. Sometimes they just get worn down. So as you can see, my other hand's holding that up, going around, trying to get that thing to come off. There we go. All right, so that's step one. Next thing I'm gonna do here is remove the battery. And this is just a cable that's plugged in. So I take my fingernails on each side and you know, kind of push outwards. And there's two screws that hold the battery down, so I'm going to remove those as well. And the first thing I'm doing here is removing that fan. So if you have a bad fan that's rattling around in there, this is a matter of removing these two screws. And then there's a little connector that holds that fan down, so you kind of just take uh, Take a screwdriver on one side and my fingernail on the other and just remove that cable that's holding the fan down, or supplying the fan power rather. So there we go. Now we got that fan out. You can put a new one in. That's what you're using this video for. Obviously you don't need to remove the battery to do the fan. You can just disconnect it. But I definitely want to disconnect the battery is the first thing I do. And here I'm going to replace the hard drive that's in it potentially. Um, you can remove this NVMe. It's got a single screw pops up, you just pull it out. It's kind of like a RAM chip, you want to put it in at a slight angle. And here I'm going to remove the hard drive caddy. If you want to add a secondary drive to this thing, in this case, you could do that with this. You take the caddy off like I'm doing now and you could screw in a hard drive and then plug it in with that cable there. So if you need some extra storage, this is a good option. Those two and a half inch drives are cheap. It only has one slot for NVMe, so you'd have to use this two and a half inch if you want to add an expansion drive. And there I'm just flipping the cable up. It's got a flip up, flip down lock. So yeah, if you wanted to, like I'm doing here, if you wanted to put a hard drive in, you'd put that in that caddy, connect everything up, and then you'd be good to go for, them, for some extra storage. And here I'm uh, removing the Wi-Fi card. So if you wanted, to, if you needed to replace the wireless card, this is where you would do it. You just—it's kind of like the NVMe where you remove a screw and you flip it up, and you can remove it. And here I'm detaching the little I/O board that has like USB and audio and some other stuff. So if you needed, if you broke a port, you could do that. 
for the replacement. And now I'm going to detach the cables, the backlight, the keyboard. And here I'm removing the touchpad. And here I'm just prying up on the CMOS. It doesn't need to be detached, but you just pry it up so you can take it off. And there I'm doing the speaker and the LCD cable. And so here I'm going to remove a couple screws on the hinge. This hinge is going over the motherboard, so if you want to take the motherboard out, you want to remove these two or three screws that have, that have uh, the hinge held into place. And once you've done that, you can kind of open the laptop just a little bit like I'm doing, and then that'll put the hinge up and you can use your thumb to, to do the rest of the way. And here you also have access to the RAM, so you could potentially do that. And I'm just removing a single motherboard screw for this thing. I think that's all it's holding into place. And now with that single motherboard screw removed, you can kind of get all the cables together and you can take the motherboard out. So if you need to replace the motherboard or access to the DC jack, uh, there you go. So now the motherboard's out. Anything you want to do with this thing right there, you can disassemble it. And that's everything. Thank you so much, guys. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comments.